What's up guys, it's the Beastly Gamer here. I'm playing a little bit of Call of Duty Ghost. Now this is not something I do often, but I've got to get my mojo back. I've got to get back in the groove of Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare will be out in the next couple, two weeks, basically. The game will be out. And uh, I wanted to kind of get back in there and find my find my shot, so to speak, and, and get my groove back in this game. So that's what I'll be doing for the next couple weeks. But I wanted to bring you guys some PS4 news. Uh, for everybody out there with the PlayStation 4 looking forward to uh, changes coming to the console, this update 2.0, which hasn't had, doesn't have a release date yet, uh, but it should be very soon, is coming out, and I want to tell you guys a little bit about it. Uh, you're going to be able to play USB music on your PS4. It's called the USB Music Player. PS4 owners can play their own music in the background while playing a game using USB Music Player. After inserting a USB stick, Loaded with music into the PS4, a new option for USB music player will appear. Supported file name extensions include MP3, MP4, M4A, and 3GP. So that's a pretty decent thing. I would much rather have a player, you know, on the system all the time with uh, its own internal storage for you to put your music on. But hey, it's a, it's a move forward. PS4 should have had a music player at launch, so that's a good thing. You'll be able to change colors. Uh, in addition to the ability to add a theme, PS4 owners can also change the background of the home screen from light blue to one of the seven new colors. Gold, blue, red, green, purple, pink, or gray, which is pretty cool to be able to kind of add your own flavor to your PS4. Like I said, it's not the best, but it is moving forward. There's a new feature called Players You May Know. PS4 will now suggest players you may know as potential friends in the What's New section, which could be a flop. I don't see how it's going to find players you know because this is not Facebook. Uh, everybody on PSN has an alias, so it's not like you've got, it's going to pick out a person's real name. It may suggest friends of your friends. Like if you have two friends and they have another friend, it may do it like that. I don't know how helpful that's going to be. There will be enhancements to live broadcasting as well. Massimoon brings a variety of improvements to live broadcasting on the PS4. In the Live from PlayStation app, PlayStation 4 owners can now select a featured channel, which includes official broadcasts from PlayStation, broadcasts from people on the player's friends list, and any game channel that the player has followed. Additionally, Live from PlayStation now has filters to search broadcasts on a specific game as well as support for archive broadcasts which is pretty cool now you'll be able to look through people's archives you'll be able to basically have your own favorites and follow particular channels which I think is pretty awesome they're making it better you know with every update I think that's pretty cool PS4 update 2.0 also will have enhanced voice commands the ability to control the PS4 using voice has been improved players can now say PlayStation to begin commands which I think we already do and all commands to see a list of all the voice command options available. New voice commands were added for live broadcasting as well, including start broadcast, end broadcast, and find face. That's pretty slick. I like that. I like the uh, the uh, the additions to the live broadcasting. So now you don't have to even hit the share button to go in there and start a broadcast. You can just say it. That's pretty slick. And the last part of this update that's mentioned here is the add to library button which I think is awesome. The monthly free PlayStation Plus games will have an Add to Library button in the PlayStation Store. This button will add a game to the PS4 owner's library without downloading it, saving space on their hard drive. And that is a big plus. I think that's great because me, every month on my Vita, I, I delete something and I re-download whatever's new so I can have it in my library. But this Add to Library button lets you actually have it in your downloads list without actually downloading it so that when you actually do have the time or the space to play it you can go right to your download list and grab it because it's already in your list so I think that's great this update 2.0 is a good step in the right direction I'm happy to see Sony is making you know these steps to make this console uh, more user friendly I would have liked to have seen uh, maybe an update to the PlayStation uh, Store or the, P the PlayStation Network in, in general I don't like how slow and cumbersome some of these options are uh, to send a friend an invite to a game takes forever. I think stuff like that should have been tweaked. Uh, it's very cumbersome, but I, I can't complain about this update. We'll see what happens shortly. Hopefully we'll have YouTube on the PS4 soon. You guys, hope you enjoyed this footage. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.
job. Report to command for debrief.